Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and today I'm going to talk about working with pre and post roll in Pro Tools. I'm going to cover a couple of basics, and I'm going to go into some expert tips that I'm sure you guys will find very useful. So first of all, what's it for? If you just want to punch in, need to fix something, so I have this gap here in this track, um, I want to have a little bit of lead in coming up so I can hear what's happening and I know what to play when I come in, and then maybe a little bit of lead out so I can hear how it's sounding going into the track afterwards. And this is what we use pre and post roll for. So a couple of the ways that you enable it or disable it are you can just go to the transport bar, click on or off pre the pre-roll buttons. You can go to the options drop-down menu and click on pre post roll enable. Or as you can see here, you can use the keyboard shortcut control K on a PC, command K on the Mac. And that will enable them both at the same time as you can see. That's for enabling and disabling. When I want to actually set the amount, there's a couple things I can do here too. So number one, we can just click over here, type in the number of bars or beats, move the cursor down for post roll. So this sets my pre and post roll to one bar on either side. So you can see it came in early and then it will continue to play after the selection in the amount set. And uh, just a quick tip, as far as post roll goes, you want to make sure you're not in loop record or loop playback. Otherwise, it won't actually go through the post roll amount. It'll just loop back right at the end of your selection to the beginning. Now, another way to set your pre and post roll amount is to simply drag on the little pre and post roll flags here at the beginning and after the selection, as you can see in the time base ruler. So those are the ways to enable or disable pre and post roll and how to set its amount. Now I want to talk to you about some expert tips on working with pre and post roll. So you can also use option or alt plus a click to just instantly set a pre or post roll amount. Simply make a selection and then using the alt or option key, click with a selector. And as you can see up at the top, my pre roll is adjusting to where I'm clicking and I can do the same thing with the post roll afterwards. Another thing you do that's really cool is you actually just hold the Alt or Option key and click on one of the flags. And you notice now they're exactly equal from each other. The other one snapped to the same distance as the one I'm holding. And you can instantly set both of them at the same time. You can also enable or disable a pre and post roll by holding down the Option or Alt key and click just on the inside of the leftmost boundary of your selection. And you can see I just disabled it. Same thing with post roll. Now, if I do the same thing just on the outside, now I can re-enable. And I'm just holding the Option key on the Mac, Alt on PC, and clicking. So these are some cool tips I think you guys will find very useful when you're tracking, overdubbing, and doing punch-ins. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is Jeff from Obedia. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.